is going to be my weekly makeup basket. I do apologize. I am so far behind in my uploads and filming videos for you guys. I went traveling down to my hometown where I was from for the holidays just to visit family and we have our annual Christmas party down there and I took a whole bunch of stuff down so I could film while I was down there in the hotel and that just didn't happen. I just... I just enjoyed hanging out with my family since I don't get to see them as often as I would like to. But anyway, back to the video. This is my weekly makeup basket. If you've never seen one of these videos before, essentially all I do is I go through my makeup collection and I pick out a certain certain couple of items that I will be using for the entire week. This really helps me focus on certain items to use them up, but it also allows me to, you know, get use a little bit of everything in my makeup collection. The first item, this is a face primer. This is the, what is this? The Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. This is just a little deluxe size sample and I've only used this like two or three times. That's how much is in there. I really just use this around the nose area a little bit, a little bit right here on the cheeks. I don't really feel like I'm in need of a face primer, but I mean, I don't mind using this up. It's a nice sample and there's a decent amount of product in there. Before I put on any foundation, I like to go in with a really light, very thick concealer. This is the Sonia Kashuk Take Cover Concealer Stick. This is in the shade number 19, which is Dawn. And I've been working on this one for a little while. That is all that I have left. This is the Pond's Luminous Finish BB Cream. And I believe this is, yeah, this is the light one. And this is the second one that I've had. I picked this up on clearance at CVS, oh, I don't know, like a month ago or something. And it was clearance down to about $3. So if you are interested in this product, definitely check your CVS. I know everywhere that I've seen this product still in stock, it has been clearance down to a really reasonable price. It's a steal in my opinion. I definitely think that I might go back and purchase a backup just because they're discontinuing this. So I really do love it. It's probably my top favorite face product ever. It's the Lorac Touch Up To Go Concealer and Foundation Pen. And essentially what you do is you just click this little bottom part here and a little bead of product comes out at the tip. And it's a quite, it's quite an orange shade for me. So I just put it right in this region here to kind of correct and cancel out or neutralize the blue tones underneath my eyes for any issues on anywhere else on the face as well as underneath the eye area. This is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Waterproof Concealer. This is in the shade number three and this stuff it's my absolute favorite product in the entire universe. I love using this. Um, I'm. It doesn't really look like it here in the video, but I am almost out of this. There is light shining through this entire top portion and I'm probably all the way down to there. So there's not much left in this guy, but I'm hoping that this will last until the next sale at Sephora because these are, I think they're around $30. This is the Makeup Forever HD. They're, what is this? The Micro Finish Powder. Um, I just use this to set underneath the eye area. Sometimes I feel like if I use my regular powder underneath the eye area, then it looks just slightly cakey. So I've been loving using this with a really small fluffy brush to set underneath the eyes. And then for all over the face, I have my MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is in NW18. I love this stuff. I have repressed it. I've Since I repressed it, I've already hit the pan up here again and down here. It is pretty thin there in the pan. So I'm excited to finish this guy up and have another back to MAC item. Then onto my bronzer. This guy's barely hanging on too. This is just the deluxe size sample of the Park Avenue Princess bronzer and that's all I have left. I repressed this one at the same time that I repressed my MAC powder but uh, I have a video where I show you my method of how to repress bronzers or face powders or blushes, eyeshadows, anything. And I actually haven't had any change in the formula, any change of the consistency of the product. It's worked every single time. So if you're interested in that, I'll try and remember to link that down below. But this is the bronzer. I'm crossing my fingers that it'll last <laughs> for the entire week. This is the NARS Blush in Sex Appeal. And this is one of my absolute favorite NARS 
NARS blushes. I do have quite a collection of them, but this one is so easy and it's just easy to use. That's it right there. This is the MAC Magically Cool Liquid Powder. And essentially what's supposed to happen is you put this on your face and it's supposed to have sort of a cooling effect. I don't really notice that much, so um, it does have like the little sifter part on the top. So it's a little messy when it's used and the packaging is just huge. This is the shade Honey Rose. So I do have everything that I'm talking about on my face. So my highlighter is, you know, around the cheek area. It's quite subtle, so it's not too, too, not too intense. I will be using the Sonia Kashuk Brow Definer in the shade Haze. This is what these guys look like. And, I mean, obviously I have it in the brows today, but let me give you a little swatch. This is a pretty hard pencil, but I don't mind it too much. There it is right there. It's, it's slightly warm. To set the Sonia Kashuk eyebrow pencil, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. That stuff holds any eyebrows, any crazy eyebrows in place, it's great. And then for my eye bases, I wish that I would have been in this mood to just use this constantly during the early part of my project pan, but I just really wasn't ready to use it every single day. But for the past, I would say week or so, I've used this every single day. This is the MAC Fluid Line in the shade Catch My Eye. I just run this all over my eyelid area and then I'll put something in the crease or underneath the bottom lash line just to kind of change the shade a little bit. That's what it looks like there. It's a grayish taupe shade with some gold shimmer running through it. I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro, the original palette, and those are the shades in case you were not aware of what it looks like on the inside. Um, they're all showing up pretty true to color. I have a couple different pencils here for the waterline. Now today I kind of went with a blue liner in my waterline and that is the, let me see here, it's a small pencil, the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in the shade 12L. There is the swatch right there. This is the pencil. There's not much in here, so it shouldn't take too long to use. And then if I want black in my waterline, I have the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Liquid Eyeliner Pencil. This is in the shade Black Point. I love this thing. This lasts all day long. At the end of the day, I still have this in my waterline. It works really well with my waterline. And then I'm gonna get a little swatch of this guy too. And then I also have the, if I want just a neutral look, I have the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Eyeliner in Nude. And this is just a nude liner. It really shows up as just a, it has more of a brightening effect. If you can even see it, it's right there. That is the Jordana pencil. And that was the Makeup Forever one, so. Moving on to my liquid eyeliner for like my winged liner on the top. Um, I really like to use a brush tipped eyeliner pen. So this was sent to me by a subscriber. This is sent to me by Jean Marie. And if I remember, I'll link her down below. I don't think she makes videos though. I really do appreciate her more than she knows. But she sent me this Physician's Formula Eye Booster. This is the two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner and serum. And this one is in the shade Ultra Black. I really do like this thing. This one is pretty interchangeable with the Pixel black eyeliner and the Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner as well. But like I said, it has a brush tip. It looks like a felt tip, but it's really brush tip. I love this thing. It's so easy to do a winged liner and I think it just turns out fabulous every time. For my mascaras, for my bottom lashes, I have the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. This is in black. It's just a super teeny micro brush. It's about the size of my pinky nail. It's super teeny, but it lets you get up in there and get every last little eyelash that's hiding out. And then for my, you know, my top lashes, I have the, who is this from? Elizabeth Mott It's So Big Volumizing Mascara. Now, this is just a little sample that I received in my Ipsy bag, but I heard a lot of people raving about it and I wanted to pull out a new mascara, so I pulled this one out. My only issue with this is that it's 
it's almost like a gel formula. Like, look at that when it comes out. It's really thick gel. I don't know. It's really weird. But it does amazing things for the lashes. I really do love this stuff. And I would consider, after I go through, like, 25 mascaras, <laughs> no joke, going after I go through 25 mascaras, I would consider purchasing this. This is my NARS lipstick in the shade Jungle Red. This is in my Project Pan. You guys are probably getting really sick of hearing about it, but that's all that I have left. I could probably use this up in a week if I use this every single day. It's just using it every single day. That's that's the problem. But I do plan on using this probably three or four days out of this week. So a lot of that should be used up. And then what I have on my lips today, this is something a little bit different. This is the MAC Casual Color Lip and Cheek Color in the shade Relaxation. They do have a couple different shades of these out, but this one, this one really reminded me of MAC Snob, and that's one of my hands down, you know, top three favorite MAC lipsticks. So you can actually use this as a cheek color or on the lips. I don't really like you know, cream products on my cheeks very much, but I do love this on the lips. There are some swatches. This is the casual color in relaxation and it is swatched right there. It's very beautiful. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it kind of dries down to a semi-matte finish. And then this right here, this was the jungle red lipstick from NARS. They are both absolutely beautiful. I do have a couple lip glosses that I wanted to work on this week. Um, this first one, I really just want to finish it up ASAP because I do have a full size of this and I'm almost finished. I mean, it's hanging on by a by a thread. This is the Urban Decay Naked Lip Gloss in the shade Love Child. And if you can see, I only have product from here down. I took out the stopper. I was having a really hard time getting any product out, but I took the stopper out and ever since then it's been a lot easier. Now, when I'm finished with the Urban Decay lip gloss sample here, I would love to move on to the Makeup Forever Lab Shine lip gloss. This is from the Diamond Collection. This is in D14. I've had this one for a couple months now. The Makeup Forever Lab Shine lip glosses are my absolute favorite lip glosses ever. They are so lovely, they smell like apricot, and honestly, they are not sticky whatsoever. This one shears out pretty nice on the lips too. So this is the Love Child from Urban Decay right there, and this bottom one right here is the Makeup Forever Lab Shine in D14. And, you know, I just wanted to use this one. My sister gave it to me for Christmas, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I love this thing. This is the Mary Kay Lip Balm in the scent, I guess, Vanilla Berry. And this thing is out of this world phenomenal. It is just a lip treatment, really. Um, but it smells delicious, and it feels so moisturizing on my lips. It's just clear, so I don't need to swatch it, but... I really do like this thing, so I'm looking forward to wearing that a little bit. And then for my perfume this week, I'm going to be using the Ed Hardy Love and Luck perfume. So this one isn't as sweet as his, you know, some of his other perfumes, but this one is a really nice perfume as well. So that is it. Those are all of my items for this week's weekly makeup baskets, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!